Hello students, I am Dr. Tanoy Vishraj. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Student question is which structure resembles to this frost diagram, I mean this one. By the way, today's question is a little unique, I agree. So let's go to the main topic. What is frost diagram actually? or more specifically force diagram of benzene. So actually aromatic compounds are drawn in this force diagram. Now there is a rule that the tip you first select and remember what is this? This is the energy of p orbital, this line and this is the energy axis. So you need to first found the bottom and you have to fit the polygon here actually hexagon inside this circle. So now it is a thing so I can take these points and I can draw a hexagon. By the way, student, my drawing may not be completely accurate, so please don't make fun of it. This is, and I request you, you please try this in your home, drawing this. Now, first of all, and this intersection, mark this. These are the energy of the orbitals, okay? So here, in case of benzene, six carbons are there, and six p orbitals have conjugated to produce this uh, 3 pi bond. So here 6 number of atomic orbitals are involved. So how many molecular orbitals will produce? That is also 6. And among these 6 orbitals, 3 are BMO, bonding molecular orbital, and 3 are ABMO. Okay. So here these 3 are BMO because lower in energy and they are ABMO. Now fill 6 pi electrons. So fill first lowest energy orbital 2. And these are same energy. So this, so six electron is done. So look at, after this molecule, benzene molecule formation, the six pi electrons are in stable bonding molecular orbital. So compared to their parent p orbital energy, their energy is low. Uh, low. So consequently, you can say they are stabilized. So in this way, you can explain the huge stabilization energy of benzene by this first diagram. So I guess you have understood. Let's go to our today's topic of discussion, this one. By the way, same logic. Just you, in this case student, I want to give you a trick. Just add this, 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 add these points and draw one polygon. This, this and this. So how many number? A, okay, so if I number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a 7 member ring, so draw. So draw the 7 member ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now seven member ring total how many number of electron? Two plus two plus two. There are six in bonding. Now above this, this energy level, p orbital energy level, these are anti-bonding orbitals. But by the way, total eight electron. So how can you draw? You need to say this is a conjugated system, one electron extra. Because if you look at the parent compound. So that looks like this. This is actually cyclohedra triene anion. So 2, 2, 4, 2, 6 and 2, 8. So 8 pi electron. And this is student actually anti-aromatic. Okay. It doesn't matter because my, in my question I haven't asked. I have asked ja, just the first diagram. And proof of the statement look at here. So in this case, six electrons are there in this bonding molecular orbital BMO. Two are actually anti-bonding and P orbitals energy is also considered as non-bonding. So fine. So this is actually cyclohepta triene anion. So answer of today's question is option B. Okay. So these matches with this first diagram. By the way, practice. I suggest you to draw the first diagram of this one, this one and this one in your home. Okay. So this is the overall discussion. I believe this video is full. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.